Blending is tough work, but the team over at Barrel Craft Spirits, they have it figured out. Find out more at BarrelBourbon.com. On today's Whiskey Quickie, we're looking at Maker's RC6. Now, this was Maker's Mark's first ever national release. Now, for this one, it's a non-age dated release. Comes around usually a six year old. Now, the proof is 108.2 proof, and the price, depending on where it is in your market, around $60 SRP. What does the RC stand for? Ryan Cecil? Ryan Cecil, Maybe. some, you know what it is? It's some crazy stave that they use. So this is 10 Virgin Toasted American Oak Stave that you get with this, as we know how the Maker's 46 series usually goes. This is one of those types of stays that you don't get the opportunity to do during a selection. Also known as RC6, I guess. There you go. There you go. That's what it is. So let's go ahead and dive in. So on the nose, what are you getting, Ryan? Get a lot of like coffee, kind of like. I get like a toasted lot, marshmallow. Yeah, like some frothy milk or something on there. Yeah. Do, I can't do some leaf art in it, you know. Oh, there you go. Draw a heart. I like those. Yeah. Can you do with a Burn Pursuit logo on it? Probably not. Probably not. A little too tough. It's pretty good. It's got some uh, cola flavors, like real syrupy. Mm -hmm. um, reminds me a lot of Coca-Cola. I almost get kind um, of a, a latte taste to it, yeah. right? It is that coffee, but with some milk and yeah, lactose mix in there. I, I agree with that one. Yeah, it's real creamy, so I like it. And then the finish, it's still a little bit there. Yeah, it's a little flat, but I wish it would go there a little deeper. I still think it's, uh, I, I love it still as a product, you know, above standard maker's mark, but let's go ahead and let's rate this. So on the nose, what are you going to say? Oh, thumbs up. I enjoyed it. All right. And the taste? Thumbs up. I and enjoyed it. And the finish? Sideways for me. I, I want a little bit longer, but it's it's not bad. It's just, it just kind of falls flat for me at the end. There we go. There's Ryan's Weeded Whiskey Review this week. So, <laughs> cheers, y'all. Cheers.